everybody. What's going on? We are here for the live English class. I'm teacher Tiffany and you already know I am ready to teach you some things today. Now, whenever we start our class, you know, I always love for you guys to tell me where you guys are watching from. Tell me what country you're in right now. So please come in the comment section and let me know where you are watching from from let me know where you're watching from i have so many students around the world so i'm excited to see where you guys are watching from here we go yes okay i see some came through angola yes hello how are you then we have saudi arabia good to see you let's see i see some more coming through morocco yes one of my favorite students is from morocco too algeria yes i'm excited too nicole <laughs> All right, let's see. Tell me where you are watching from. We have Colombia again, Colombia. Then we have Brazil. Yes, we have Morocco again. Come on, guys. Yes, Rwanda. Good to see you here. Montreal. I have some good friends who live in Montreal. Good to see you. Sao Paulo. Nice to see you. Let's see. Tell me where you're watching from right now. Let's see. Let's see. The Dominican Republic. Good to see you. Something got in my eye, guys. <laughs> All right. Again, as you come in, let us know where you're watching from. I love to see you guys here. And I'm so excited about our lesson together today. Hey, Fred. Good to see you. All right. Colombia again. Tell me where you're watching from. Let's see. Let's see. Dominican Republic, Colombia. I see a lot of Colombia. Yes. Italy. Good to see you. Wow. Vietnam, Egypt. Yes. Good to see you. All right. Let's see. All right. Maryland. You know, I love Maryland. Good to see you. Let's see. Poland. Nice. India. We got Russia again. Good to see you guys. Mexico. Ooh, I love some Mexican food. Mm, delicious. We have Canada, Syria. Yes. Let me see if I can get Syria on the screen. Good to see you guys. Moscow. All right. Now I may, I think this is supposed to be France. I got you. Then we have Costa Rica. Let me see if I can get through on the screen. Man, guys, you guys are awesome. Puerto, R Puerto Rico, Pakistan, yes. Haiti, good to see you. IT, nice to see you. Good to see you guys. All right, so again, we got a few more moments. As you're coming in, I see that there are 383 of you guys watching all together. And man, I'm so excited to teach you guys today. So just let me know where you're from. We're going to spend a few more moments just saying hi and letting you guys kind of give shout outs for your own country. All right, we have Honduras. Yes, good to see you. Peru, nice to see you here. Manuel, nice to see you. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further and see if we can get some more. I see Morocco. Man, you guys are amazing. Armenia, good to see you. Dubai, I know someone in Dubai. I see Ohio, you're in America. Nice to see you here, Steve. Yes. All right, Russia again. Man, Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria. Love it. Cameroon, nice to see you, Emmanuel. Good to see you. All right, so so many of you guys are here, and man, this lesson today, whoo, guys, thank you so much for joining, London, Libya, and there's so many more of you all here, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me here. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to think creatively in English, and man, this is going to be an interactive class, but I want to tell you something before I start. Last month when we had our live English class, remember I said, Ooh, there's something that's secret, right? That's going to happen at the end. Well, I'm going to let you know ahead of time right now at the end of this live class, this live class will be about an hour. I'll teach you a whole lot. You'll practice a lot. I'm actually going to have a live zoom meeting with family members. That means the Speak English with Tiffany Academy members. We're called the family. And I'm going to meet with all family members directly after this YouTube live. So I know you guys enjoy commenting in the chat area and me reading your comments. But if you want to actually see me and on video and I can see you, join the family. Ali, hey, what's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Ali is one of our family members as well. So 
If you want to join our family and be a part of that meeting at the end of this class, please join the family right now. Now I'm going to put this in the comment section really quickly for those who really want to join us. All you have to do is go to this link. Hold on one second, guys. After this live class, this is the link. I just put it in the comment section so you guys can join us as well. We want you guys to be a part of our family. So hit that link. Don't worry. You have an hour to come and join the family and then join our Zoom class at the end of this live class. But don't worry. You can still enjoy the live class. Now let's jump right in all right guys so again i'm so excited to teach you all today and our lesson is going to be about how to think creatively in english so here we go again i mentioned after this class there's a live zoom meeting for family members here we go today we're going to be talking about how to think creatively in english now i want you guys to get ready because I have a lot of questions and you guys are going to be able to answer them. And this is going to be a super interactive class. So here we go, guys, here we go. All right. So the first thing we're going to look at, it's going to be broken up into three different parts for today's class. We're going to look at descriptive sentences. Then section two is new expressions and idioms. And finally, section three is how to practice. So here we go. Section number one, descriptive sentences. Here we go. This is the first image that we're looking at. It looks like a woman sitting on a bike, right? But I want to give you three sentences that describe this image. And I want you to prepare your sentences because again, today we're practicing how to think creatively in English. So what I want you to do is look at this picture and think of your own sentence. All right. And you can type it in the comment section, but the first one is right here. The lady is riding a bike, right? The lady is riding a bike in the image. You see a bike and you see a lady. She doesn't have any shoes on, right? But that's a very basic way of explaining or describing the picture. Again, the lady is riding a bike. Or what about this one? The lady is brave to ride her bike with no shoes on her feet. So what happened? Now, instead of looking at the bike specifically, we're focusing on the fact that she has no shoes on. So again, when you're trying to think creatively in English, it's important to look for little details and then describe those details. So the first sentence was very simple. The lady is riding a bike. Now the second sentence is the lady is brave to ride her bike with no shoes on her feet. All right. Now what about this one? The lady is wearing a black and white polka dot dress with lace at the bottom. Now you see what happened, right? Look at the bold words. Okay. Look at the words that are bolded one more time, black and white polka dot dress. So what happened for the third sentence? I decided to focus on what she was wearing. The lady is wearing a black and white polka dot dress with lace at the bottom. So once again, when you're thinking about how to think creatively in English, it's all about finding one detail, one small thing and expanding your idea about that one small detail. All right. So now this is what I want you to do. All right. So I gave you three example sentences. Now I want you to make your own sentence about this image. This is where we interact guys. I want you to go in the comment section and type your sentences. Uh, I see a question came through. What does polka dot mean? Great question. So polka dot is usually um, used to describe uh, one color and then there are dots on it of another color, right? Dot. So we say polka dot, right? So if you have a white shirt and then lots of black dots, we say polka dot and usually bigger dots. We say polka dot. All right. Now this is your chance guys. Look at the picture one more time. And I want you to give me a sentence describing the picture. All right, here we go. I'm going to go to the comment section now and see your sentences. Here we go. Paula says the lady with the black dress is riding a bike. Come on now, Paula. Good job. Good job. Excellent. All right. Anybody else? Let me see. Um, okay. Don't wear a dress. If you're going to ride a bike period. That's my best piece of advice. All right. Okay, good, good. Here we go. B bow plan or boo plan. 
says the white girl riding a bike. Ah, almost perfect. The white girl is riding a bike with no shoes on. Almost perfect, but I see what you were saying. All right. Give me some more sentences, guys. Tell me how to describe this picture. Again, I'll show it one more time. Tell me how to describe this picture. How would you describe this picture? All right. Thinking creatively in English. Here we go. Let me see another sentence. Let me see. I'm going to scroll down. Here we go. Javier says the lady is riding a bike with a black and white dress. Very good, Javier. Very good. All right. Here we go. The lady is riding. Okay. The lady is riding her bike at the park at her bike because you want to make sure which vehicle she's riding. Want to make sure we make that clear. Very good. All right. Here we go. All right. The girl is riding a bike to get to her job in the morning. I love that you're thinking creatively, Yahandra. You can think about where she's going. I like that you did that. Excellent. Just add to get to her job. All right. Okay, here we go. Miss Comfort says the lady in a black dress is riding a bike. Excellent. All right, let me see. I'm going to do three more sentences. Here we go. The beautiful woman on the bike is going to meet her boyfriend. Come on. Excellent job. You're thinking creatively. You're thinking, hey, this picture is great, but maybe where is she going? What is she about to do? I love it. Two more sentences. Here we go. Let's do two more sentences. Let me see. All right. The lady with the black dress is riding the bike with a fascinating feeling. Okay. She feels fascinating. Okay. She feels great. I like it. One more. Here we go. One more sentence. Let's see. <laughs> I like your sentences guys. Let me try to find one more. Here we go. Um, let's see. I see Jose. Let me see Jose. The blonde girl is riding a bike with a black and white dress without shoes, just spelling with not W H I T, but W I T H. All right. Great job guys. So you see what you're doing right now, right? We're looking at the same picture, but we all have different sentences. We're thinking creatively in English. All right, let's go to our next picture. Excellent job guys. Here we go. Here's our next picture. Oh, do you guys like dogs? Hey, quick question. Who has a pet dog in the picture? You see there's a pet dog, right? If you have a pet dog, just type yes. If you have a dog, if you've, ra you've raised a dog before or you have one right now, just type yes in the comment sections. You know, dogs are very cute and many people have pet dogs, even in America. All right. So we have this picture, right? Here's the first sentence. The man is wearing a white shirt. Again, what's the focus? The focus is the man's white shirt. All right, here we go. Next, the man has a watch on his left wrist. Ah, now we're focusing on the watch, right? We're saying, hey, that watch is on his left wrist. Remember the wrist is right here. Very good. All right, I see some people came through. Yes, some of you do have dogs. Let me see. I see, oh, a lot of you have dogs. Nice, I like it, I like it. All right, let's see, uh, Alex, you have a dog, nice. Uh, Elul, you have a dog. Nice. Edna, you have a dog. Sharon has a dog. Jose. Yes. All right. Walter has a dog. Jao, Victor. Nice to see you here. All right. A lot of you guys have dogs. Dogs really are great. There's an expression we have in English, a dog. Uh, we say dogs are man's best friend, right? So dogs are great pets. All right. A lot of you guys have dogs, but some of you don't. It's okay. All right. So very cute dog, very cute puppy, right? All right. Now what's the third sentence I use to describe the picture? The little dog has very nice brown and black fur. So what did I do? I focused on the color of the dog. Again, remember when you are thinking creatively in English and when you are trying to practice how to think creatively in English, you can get images and pick out certain parts. We have the shirt, we have the wristwatch. We have the dog's color. You can do these things too. Now let's jump to the image and now it is your turn. All right, guys, give me your sentences to describe this image. Go. All right. Again, you're describing the image. You can pick any part of the image you'd like, but again, thinking creatively in English, how would you describe this picture? Tell me, here we go. All right. I see some coming through now. Excellent. Here we go. The man has a quiet dog with your new white color shirt. Okay. 
The man has a quiet dog and he's wearing a new white shirt. All right, be careful. Okay, let's see. The man has a watch and a black dog. Be careful, the adjective that goes in the front has a black dog, all right? Let's see, give me a sentence again, describing this picture right here. Pick any part of the picture and make a sentence about it, all right? Here we go, let's see. Oh, very cute, the little dog is his boss. Sometimes dogs are people's bosses. Very good, very good. All right, let's see. Um, this businessman is single and his little dog is his only family. Good, I like that you're thinking outside of the box, you're thinking creatively, but be careful. This businessman is single and his little dog is his only family, all right? Let's see, let's see. Tell me another sentence about the image. Let me scroll down. You guys are doing awesome. Keep practicing, guys. Even if yours doesn't get on the screen, keep practicing. This is how you improve your English. Here we go, Edna says, the man in the white shirt is holding a cute black little dog. Very good. Be careful with the spelling though. Little is L-I-T-T-L-E. Good job, excellent job, here we go. Oh, uh, Victor says the dog is comfortable on its owner's lap. Great job, great job, here we go. Elizabeth, hey Elizabeth says, the man who is wearing a white shirt is carrying a little dog, or the man wearing a white shirt is carrying a little dog. Good job, all right? Two more, keep them coming guys, keep them coming. Oh, uh, hey, Rosemary, nice to see you, hey. The dog seems scared. Uh, Rosemary was one of the first members of my academy. It's so good to see you here, hun. All right, and I'll do one more, one more. Here we go. Alberto, yes, Alberto is a member of the academy too. Good to see you, Alberto. The man is holding his black dog in his hands. So be careful, the man is holding his black dog in his hands. All right, great job, guys, again. The most important part about thinking creatively in English is picking one part, one detail, and then expanding upon that detail. All right, excellent job. Okay guys, here's the next image right here. Woo, image number three. Now I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. I love hiking, I really do. I love hiking and I love traveling. So this picture is a good example of something that I enjoy doing. But we have a guy in this picture, so let's go to the picture and see some sentences about it. First, the person is wearing a yellow hooded sweatshirt. Again, what's the focus? We're looking at this image and for the first sentence, we're only focusing on one detail. And we've made a sentence, right? What's the detail? The yellow hooded sweatshirt, exactly. What about the next one? The water is very blue. Simple sentence, right? But again, we're describing the picture. We're being very, very creative, all right? Here we go. Oh, uh, Elizabeth, thank you so much. I love being your teacher. All right, here we go. So the next sentence, the third one is, the many rock formations appear pointy and sharp at the top. So now we're looking at the rocks, the rock formations. Now pointy just means very sharp, right? The tip of something is very pointy, like oof, ow, we say pointy, all right? So again, we picked three different points within the image and we spoke about those points. So now it's your turn, guys, interactive. Here's the image. I want you all to type out your sentences, all right? Type your sentences about this image. What point do you wanna pick out? What aspect of this image do you want to talk about? Here we go, all right, Juan says, the sky is a bit cloudy. Very good, Juan, very good. All right, Tame says, the man is enjoying the beauty of nature. The man is enjoying the beauty of nature, all right? All right, here we go. Talk to me about that picture, okay? One more time, here's the picture, guys. Tell me about this picture. Here we go, back to the comment section. Yes, here we go. The men, oh, the man, here we go. The man wearing a yellow dress is thinking about himself and feeling well there. Now be careful, it's not a dress, it's a sweater that he's wearing. He's wearing a sweater and not men, but man, okay? For one person, all right? Be very careful, all right? Javier says the man is enjoying the beautiful paradise, not of, the beautiful paradise, all right? Got some more coming through, here we go. Let's see, let's see some more coming through about our picture. Here we go. 
The person who is standing on the top, uh, on top of the mountain is thinking about his life. All right. Hatice, good to see you. Another member of the Academy. Nice to see you here. All right, here we go. The puppy is sitting on a man. Oh, that's from the other picture, but good job. All right. Uh, tell me about this picture guys. Here we go. Ernest. Ernest says the person with the yellow shirt is enjoying his time. Very good. Just be careful with the spelling E N J O Y I N G, but good job. Very good job. All right. Two more, two more. Here we go. Gabby. Hi Gabby. Good to see you. Gabby says the man is watching the ocean. Good. Okay. Or looking at the ocean is more natural. Okay. Good job. Last one. One more sentence. Let me see. You guys are doing great. Keep typing your sentences. Keep practicing guys. This is how you get better. Here we go. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Excellent job. Excellent job. It seems like it is going to rain, but he's still enjoying himself. You see, I corrected it for you. It seems like it is going to rain, but he is still enjoying himself. Now, again, I corrected the grammar part for that sentence, but I love the way you're thinking creatively. That's the point. Good job. Good job. All right. Excellent job, guys. Let's go to our next picture. You guys are doing great. All right. Here's the next picture. All right. We're getting a lot of water pictures in nature. Here's the first sentence. The little house is cute. Very simple sentence, right? Focusing on one detail of the image. We're focusing on the little house, not the ocean, not the water, not the car, just the house. And we made a sentence again. The little house is cute. What about the next one? The house has two windows in the front. Think about it. Two windows in the front or on the front of the house is okay as well. All right. Then what's the next thing? We have this one right here. There is a small silver car parked in front of the house. So you see what happened. First, I focused on the house. Then I went a little bit closer and I focused on the windows. Then I went a little bit to the left and I saw that there was a little silver car. So now guys, I want you to make your own sentences again about this image. Here's the image. One more time, guys, this little house with the car and the water. So give me your sentence. I'm ready for it. Guys <laughs> type your sentence in the comment section. Here we go. Yes. Go ahead guys. Barbara. Hey Barbara. Barbara says the house is in front of the ocean. Good job. Yes. Excellent job. Esra says the little house is white. Good being creative. It's true. The little house is white. Very, very good. All right. Again, give me some sentences about the image. Let me show the image one more time. This image right here, make a sentence about this image. Here we go. Go into the comment section. All right, here they come. All right, here we go. Rafaela says the little house is in a day is in danger because if the rain comes, a flood can happen there. All right. Is in a dangerous situation or is in a dangerous spot, but good job again. I love how creatively you're thinking. That's the point guys. Great job. Here we go. Nancy says the cute small house is next to the sea. Very good job, Nancy. Very good job. Here we go. All right. Javi says I would like to live in that house by the beach or on the beach, but we say by the beach is better. All right. Good job. All right, here we go. Let me see some more sentences about this image. It looks like it is a peaceful place. Almost perfect. But I love the way you are thinking. You're thinking creatively. You said, ah, it looks peaceful. Something about this image whoo, makes me feel good. I love it. I love it. All right. Two more, two more. Keep them coming guys. Don't stop. Keep practicing. Keep practicing. Here we go. I love this. All right. Vedant says my dream is to buy a house having windows and a white car with windows and a white car. Good. You've connected it to your own life. I love it. I love it. All right, here we go. Hina says the view of the house is so beautiful. Excellent guys. You're doing an amazing job. I love how creatively you're thinking. You're trying to connect the image to your life. You're bringing out really good adjectives and that's what you have to do to continue to think creatively in English. So let's go to our next and final picture for this section. Here we go. Now we have a woman in this picture. Here's the first sentence. The table is made of wood. You see what happened there, right? My first sentence isn't even about the woman. I decide, Hmm, 
I decided to focus more on the table and that's okay because I'm describing the image. So again, the table is made of wood. Next we have the young woman has black and blonde hair. All right. So now I'm saying, Hey, the table is wood and Oh, look at the woman in the picture, but more specifically look at her hair. So again, I'm thinking creatively. What is it about her hair that makes her unique? Ah, it's black and blonde. Again, thinking creatively. Apply these same ideas and principles to life. When you're describing something, think of the little details and how you can explain them and describe them. This is how you get more fluent in English. All right. Now my third sentence, here we go. My third sentence. The lady is wearing a gray sweater with a striped blouse underneath it. Aha. So now I'm looking at her clothes, right? Oh, she has a gray sweater and I look very closely. I see a striped shirt underneath her sweater. All right. So guys, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for you guys to make your own sentences. So let me show you the picture. And again, I want you to make your own sentence describing this image. All right. Describing this image. So here we go. Going to the comment section. Here we go. Yes. Bring them on guys. Here we go. Sharon. Hey, Sharon says the lady is busy working on her new project. Come on, Sharon. Yes. Excellent. You're guessing you're thinking creatively. Hey, maybe this lady is working on a project. I love it. I love it. This is great. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, let me see. Let me see again, make a sentence guys. And this is the image we're talking about this image right here of this woman. Here we go. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Francisco says that beautiful woman looks like she is concentrating hard again, like she is concentrating hard. Okay, good. I like the way you're thinking though. Very good. All right. Another sentence. Here we go. All right. Vinny says, Hey Vinny, she is doing her office work. Good. Maybe she had a lot of work to do. So she's sitting there working on her work. All right. Getting her work done. All right, here we go. The woman is working on the desk. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's see. Give me some more sentences. Keep them coming guys. I'm going to do five more. Here we go. All right. Raimundo. Good to see you. The Caucasian young woman is doing her assignment or research project on her newly purchased tablet. Excellent. Very, very good. I like that. You gave lots of details. You talked about, uh, what culture or what her ethnicity may be. You talked about what she's actually working on and you spoke about the tablet she's using. I like that. Excellent job. All right, here we go. Let's do four more, four more. All right. Coach, hey, coach says the lady's got a nice tablet or the lady has a nice tablet. Three more. Here we go. The woman is wearing a ring. She might be married or she could be married. All right. That's true. I like how you saw that small detail. She has a ring. Maybe she's married. All right. Good. Two more, two more. Here we go. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this one's kind of funny. Uh, oh, never mind. It went by. Hold on. Let's do another one. Um, the girl's long hair is so brilliant. Hey, Nancy. All right. One more guys. One more. Um, let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Ah, uh, let's see. So many great sentences. Keep them coming guys. Don't stop. Keep them coming. And again, remember this is practice for you. That's going to help you. All right, here we go. Clearly the cute lady is engaged by his nice ring in his left. Oh, I miss, I don't understand that one. Sorry. Okay. Let me go to a different one. Um, okay. She is busy all the time. All right. Great job. So again, guys, you see what happened. We saw a series of images and we were able to pick out specific details from each image. And that helped us. That helped you to think creatively and look at all the sentences you guys made about one image. It's because you guys were thinking creatively. And that's what you want to do when you practice. Okay. It helps you become fluent in English. All right. So now let's move on to section number two, new expressions and idioms. Now I'm going to teach you guys two new, very useful expressions and idioms. Are you guys ready? Are you sure? All right, here we go. All right. So the first expression I want to teach you is this one right here in one's element. All right. Now this just means in a situation which is entirely suitable, familiar or enjoyable. So for example, 
You're in a situation that is very comfortable for you. I'm teaching you right now. This is extremely comfortable for me. I love, I love teaching you English. I love getting on these live monthly classes and helping you expand your knowledge of the English language. I am in my element. It means I'm very comfortable. I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not nervous. <laughs> I'm happy. I feel great. So I am in my element. So I can say I'm in my element when I teach English. Make sense? It means I'm very comfortable when I'm in that situation. All right. This is a very, very useful expression. All right. In one's element. So let's see some example sentences. Here we go. My mother was in her element this morning when she was organizing her room. All right. So again, think about it. That means his or her mother loves cleaning, loves organizing. So whenever his or her mother is doing that, she's like, "Woo! I like to organize, right? She's in her element. All right. Here's the next one. You can tell that he is in his element right now. You're catching on, right? He's in his element right now. And finally, here we go. This one right here. Samantha is in her element when she's painting. All right. Makes sense. Now here's the challenge guys. I taught you this expression in one's element, but remember we had a series of pictures in section one, right? This is what I want you to do. Look at the bottom, right? You see the picture right here in the bottom, right? The woman that was on the bike. Here's the challenge. I want you to make a sentence using in one's element, but you need to talk about that picture. You can do it. I believe in you again, the picture in the bottom right of the woman on the bike. How can you use the expression to describe the picture? That's the challenge. Go for it guys. Use the expression in one's element and describe the image of the woman. I see a question came through. This expression can be used in a formal way. Yes, you can use it in any environment. It's okay. It's not slang. You can use it. How can you use this expression to describe the woman that's riding on her bike? It's a challenge again in one's element. How can you describe the image using this expression? I know it's tricky. Let me see if you guys are going to come through anybody. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The girl loves riding her bike because she feels like she's in her element. Okay. All right, here we go. Aduba or Abuba says the young woman sitting at on her desk. Ah, not that picture. We're talking about this one. The one with the bike, the one specifically with the bike. All right, here we go. Yaren says she is in her element when she is riding her bicycle. Good job. Be careful with the spelling of bicycle, but excellent. All right, here we go. Oh, excellent. The lady's in her element while riding her bike. Good, good. All right. Okay. The late, this girl is in her element when she rides a bike. Very good. Very good. All right. Oh, thank you guys. I, some of you said you're in your element now that you're studying with me. I'm so happy to hear that. All right. Okay. Let's see the girl. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm going to get some water again. Keep your sentences coming. Your goal is again to make a sentence about the image right here in the bottom, right? Using the expression. Woo. I had to get some water. All right. I'll do two more sentences. Let's see again about the image where the girl is on her bike. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I see a lot of sentences coming through. Keep them coming guys. Okay. Here we go. Nicole says the girl is in her element. Be careful with the spelling when she rides her bike, rides her bike. All right. One more. Let me do one more. Let's see somebody else. Um, Okay. Mary was in her element riding the new bicycle in the park this afternoon. I like that. I like how you're thinking outside of the box and thinking creatively Pavel. Excellent job. All right. So you guys understand, right? In your element, again, in a situation or an environment that you were very, very comfortable in, you feel confident you're in your element. Great job. All right. Now the next one, the next expression is right here. Chill out chill out. Now this just means after working hard, a person does something that helps them calm down and relax for a while or have a good time. So imagine you work all day, right? You're working all day. Or for those of you that are in school, you're studying all day, right? 
And when you finish studying or finish working, you just kind of want to relax. You just want to stop and whew, maybe watch a movie on Netflix or maybe, you know, watch a YouTube video, speak English with Tiffany. <laughs> but, you know, you just want to relax. You can say, ah, I just want to chill out. You can say that. I just want to relax. I just want to chill out. Makes sense, right? Okay, so let's look at some example sentences. Here we go. First, we have right here. He wanted to chill out after the meeting, all right? Again, maybe the meeting was very difficult and he had to pre prepare a lot of information. He was a little bit stressed. So he said, man, whew, I really just want to chill out for a while. I just want to relax, all right? Here's the next one. I think you need to chill out, meaning I, I think it's time for you to relax. Just, just chill out. It's okay. And finally, this one. It's important to chill out sometimes, all right? It's important to relax. Make sense? All right, now again, we got to connect, right? What we learned in section one, we're going to connect it to what we're learning right now. So I have a picture. Look at the bottom right of this one. In the bottom right, we see the image of the man, right? Standing on top of these rocks or this mountain, right? In the yellow sweater. How can we talk about this image using the expression chill out? That's the challenge, guys. Right now, your challenge, what we learned in section one about the image and creatively explaining it or describing it. Now we're connecting it. Talk about this image and I need you to use chill out. How can you describe this using the expression chill out? Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. I'm glad you do watch the videos and I'm glad they're a breath of fresh air. Thanks so much, Zina. All right. So again, guys, how can you describe that image again of the man bottom right using the expression chill out? Talk to me. Let me know. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Ooh, yes. The man seems to enjoy chilling out while looking at a landscape. Okay, good, good. Let's see. The young man is chilling out, watching a nice view at the top of a mountain of the mountain. Okay. Looking at the nice view. Excellent. Looking at the nice view is more natural. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, oh, nice. Antonio. This man went to a quiet and a still, um, a place where there was still water to chill out. Good. He wanted to chill out. Good guys. You're connecting what you learned in section one with what you're learning now in section two. Excellent job. Here we go. Let me see again. You're trying to describe Jamal. Hey Jamal. Hold on. Let me see. Hey Jamal. Good to see you. After a long day, he chills out on the mountain. Very good job, Jamal. Jamal is also a member of our academy, our family. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Ma Silva. Hey, says he chills out after to do a climb. Ah, he likes to chill out by climbing. Okay. He likes to chill out by going on a hike, something like that. Okay. All right. I'll do one more. Let's do ah, two more, two more. We got to move on with our lesson, but you guys are so active and I love it. I love it. All right. Here we go. Keep them coming guys. Keep practicing. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep your sentences coming. Here we go. Let me see. The next one is Sophie says he just chills out after his hard work all day. Okay. He's just chilling out after a long day or after a hard day. Okay. That's more natural. All right. Here we go. The man is chilling out after a hard week of work. Good job, Fabiana. Excellent. All right. You guys are amazing. So you're seeing again how you can use this expression in a real situation. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, now let's go to section number three. Here we go. How to practice. Now, again, this is going to be very, very interactive. So as soon as I ask the question, I need you to start typing real, real fast. Okay, really fast. Here we go. All right, so this is getting into the who, what, when, where, and why. Now, you all know I love teaching you the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. This is a way, this is a method that will help you think creatively in English. So what we're going to do is we have one image, but for each part of the image, we're focusing on a W. Here we go. All right. The first one is who, who is it? Look at the picture closely and think about who is actually in the picture. Now for this part, you don't have to write a full sentence if you don't want. We're just trying to organize different pieces of information. So looking at this image again. Who do you think is in this picture? Who is this? Who is in this picture? All right. Who is it? 
who do you see in the image? Is it, you can say a man, you can say a race car driver. It's up to you. Tell me again, who is in this picture? Talk to me, talk to me. All right. I see the comments coming through again. Who is in the picture? I see a lot of you saying, hi, hi guys. Good to see you. All right. Good. Hatice says the man who likes racing. Very good. Again, excellent job. Tell me guys, who is in this picture? You can say a man, you can say a white man, you can say a tall man. Describe the image by talking about who is in the picture. Okay. A man with a helmet where he actually has the uh, headphones on, but good. All right. Excellent. A driver. Good. Some drivers. Good. Jamal too. driver. Good. Uh, a pilot. Oh, actually this is not a pilot. They're for cars, but oh, nice staff. Come on. Good job. Pit crew. Nice. The owner of the car. Good job. The teammates. Nice. I love it. The F1 driver. Very good. I think you meant race car, right? But a person, we're looking for a person, not a thing, but I understand race car driver. All right. Formula one race car driver. Good. All right. Driver and the coach. Excellent. Good job, guys. Uh, let's see a man. Let me see some more are coming through. They're coming through so fast. I have to scroll down. There we go. The man who likes cars. Excellent. A mechanic. Very good. All right. Two more, two more. Let's see again. Who is in the picture? Here we go. Um, car thieves. <laughs> Thank you for your virtual hug. Here you go. There's a hug back. All right. And last one, here we go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see trainers. Okay. So again, we're seeing different individuals in this image. All right. Now let's go to what? All right. So now the question is what is going on? Look at the picture closely and think about what is actually going on in the picture. The picture hasn't changed, but you're noticed that we're looking at certain details within the picture. So tell me, what do you think is going on in this picture? What are they doing? You all mentioned, um, great examples. You said there's a race car driver, there's a mechanic. Tell me, what do you think is actually going on in this picture? Tell me, tell me. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Someone says the men, uh, the men are helping. They're helping the driver. Good. Okay. Excellent. The man is ready to race. Very good. The man is checking the car. Very good. Someone's <laughs> Vinny says someone wanted to steal the car. Good. Be careful. The spelling S T E A L. All right. Good. All right. Let's see. Tell me what's going on. Here we go. Susu says three people are trying to fix the car. Excellent. All right. Uh, someone says, let's see the ADSDJ says it's a pit stop. All right. Let's see. Uh, tell me what's going on in this picture. Let's see. Ah, yes. I love it. Anthony. Hold on. Excellent. Anthony. Let me see if I can get you on the screen. Anthony says the race car drivers are chilling out. Okay, guys, it's freezing a little bit because there's so many comments coming in, but Anthony, I did see your comment. Here we go. I think we can get it on. Come on now. Let's see if we can get it on there for you. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. I like this one you, you put in there, but it's not going on the screen, but I like it. The race car drivers are chilling out. All right. Excellent. Let's do two more, two more. Let's see. Let's see. They are, let's see, repairing the car. Excellent job. Very good. Changing a wheel or changing a tire. Great job guys. So again, we're seeing that this picture has something going on in it. And now we're thinking creatively, ah, maybe they're changing a tire. Ah, maybe they're fixing the car. Maybe it's a pit stop. Again, you're thinking creatively in English. Great job guys. All right. Now let's look at the next, the next W. What about this one right here? When did it happen? Look at the picture closely and think about when it was actually taken. When do you think this picture was taken? Think about it guys. Was it in the morning? Was it in the afternoon? Was it today? Was it yesterday? Was it uh, after a race before a race? Think creatively. When do you think this picture was actually taken? When did this happen? Tell me in the comment section, guys, when did this happen? You guys are doing so amazing. Tell me when this happened. All right, here we go. Excellent. All right. Ed, you Cassion says before the race, good before the race, be careful with the spelling T H E. All right. Before the race. All right, here we go. Excellent job guys. Excellent job. Let me see. Okay. Let's see in the daytime. I like it in the daytime. Then we have yesterday. Excellent. Let's see. 
Um, let me see. Let me see. In the when did it happen? Someone says the afternoon. Now there's so many comments coming through. I can't put them on the screen. <laughs> Keep them coming, guys. The afternoon. All right. During a race. Good. I like that. Blanco Lucas. I'm trying to put you on the screen, but it won't pop up. Um, I'll read your comments, though. Don't worry. Uh, OU says before the match. Good. Before the race. Good. All right. I see it happened during a race. In the morning. I like it. During a race. Excellent, guys. Before winning the race. I like that. Bigum Gurlian. All right. Good. Someone says Sunday. I like it. I like it, guys. Before the race. Jamal says bef just before the race. Good. Excellent, guys. It happened during the race. It was taken during the race on a hot afternoon. Oh, I like that one, too. Um, this is from Sharon. Excellent. Then we have, I'll do five more. I'm just reading them because they're coming in so fast, I can't put them on the screen. But don't worry. I see all your comments. Here we go. All right. I see another one come through. After the runner in the evening, that's Laura. Excellent job. Uh, let's see. At the middle of the race, Khan Aya. Good. Nicole Liberato says the start of the day. Good. Then we have, let's see, another one. Chester Destroy says during the day. All right, two more, guys. Let's see. Alexander says, uh-oh, it went away, Alexander. After 10 laps of racing. Good. And one more. Let me scroll through. I see Nancy Juarez. It was in the afternoon the day before the race. Great job, guys. Again, you're looking at the image and thinking creatively about the picture. I love it. This is how you expand your English ability. This is how you improve your fluency. All right, here we go. Now, what about this part? Where is it? Look at the picture and think about where they are in the picture. Where are they right now? Look at the picture closely. Where do you think they are right now? Where do they think they are? Are they at someone's house? Mm, I don't think so. Are they on the highway? I don't think so. Tell me, where do you think they are? Where was this picture taken? Think about it. Where was the image taken? All right. Let's see. I see some of you, um, they're just taking photos. Tell me, where was this picture taken? Tell me, where was it taken? Here we go. All right. Race area. I like it. I like it. All right. Let me see. Let me see. A race area. Let me put you on there. Here we go. Khan Aya says the race area. All right. Uh oh, in a street on a street. All right. Let me see at a garage. All right. At a racing area. I like it. Let me see. I can put this on the screen. All right. So many are coming through. I'll just read them for you all. Don't worry. All right. Jamal says near the garage. Athmane Tech says in the garage. Alexander says on the road track. All right. On the track. Uh, are we 95 says on the racetrack. Good. Juanita Gonzalez says it looks like on a road. Good. Then we have another one in an international car race. All right. They're on, in a garage. Tame says that. Um, let me see. They're on a racetrack. Let's see. Uh, on earth. <laughs> Milena says on earth. <laughs> good one. Good one. All right. Uh, Adrian Hernandez says in Texas. That's right. Think creatively. Think creative. There's no wrong answer. All right. Uh, let me see it. Some more people came through. Uh, I see on the beach. Okay. Maybe there's a beach behind them on the road in the garage. Excellent job, guys. Excellent job. Okay. In the middle of the race area. Great. I'll take three more on the race grounds. That's Aquib Elahi. Good job. Then we have two more in the pit area. Educacion al limite. Good job. Then uh, let's see. Let's see. I see a lot of international car racing areas. Good job. Good job. Let's see some more coming through. Uh, okay. Louis Dale Tucson says at a racing area. Okay. Good job guys. So again, you're thinking creatively. You're thinking about where they could possibly be in this picture. Now, what about the why? This is where it gets interesting as well. Why are they doing it? Look at the picture closely and think about why this is happening in the picture. Think about it, guys. Why are they doing this? Some of you said maybe they're changing a tire. Maybe they're fixing the car, but why? Now I want you to think even more creatively in English. Why do you think they are doing this? Why do you think they are standing in front of the car? Why do you think they have their headphones on? Tell me why you think they are doing this. All right. This is where it gets interesting. So the why. All right. Oh, great. Nice. Okay. So I see Samuel Gomez says they're in Arizona's Grand Prix. Crypto News says it's a competition. Nice. I like it. Very good. Very good. All right. 
Uh, Hatis says, because they just want to. All right, that's true. They may just want to do that. Good. Let's see. Let's see. Tell me why you think they are doing it. Oh, they want to earn some money. Okay. The ADSDJs talks about earning money. All right. Let's see. They're giving the, not the pilot, but the driver a piece of advice. Remember the pilot is someone that flies an aircraft, right? A plane. All right. Let's see. Just for fun. Okay. I like that. Elias, wait, just for fun. Um, let's see. Laura Jimenez says, because they need to repair the car. All right. Good. Uh, someone says, Yaren says they're stealing the race because they need money. Ah, uh, they're trying to race because they need money. Good. Jose Rafael Perez says, because they're in a championship. All right, let's see. Let's see. Someone's crying. Why are you crying? Marie, Paul, Paul, Elomo, don't cry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Again, I love it. I love it. They're pushing the car because they're in a championship. Um, they're trying to, let's see, they're changing the tires. Good, good. Uh, the car needs to be fixed. Excellent. Let's see some more. Uh, to catch up to first place, they want to be in first place. Um, they're going to do a show in Disneyland. Adrian Hernandez, I like it. Thinking creatively, I love it. Um, Flavin Hanha says, because they need to win the race. I love it. All right, they're in a championship. They're trying to change the car tire. The car needs to be fixed. Very good. Nicole Liberato says, because the car stopped working. Good. Spitfire 99 says, because they need a piece of advice to continue the race. Good. Fahad, Fahad Mahid says, to win the race. Good. Keep them coming, guys. Uh, they're coming really fast, so they won't pop on the screen, but I'll still read them for you. Keep them coming. Uh, they're doing a repair on the car. That's from Joni Temurovo, Temurovic. All right. And I'll do two more. Two more. Samuel Gomez says, to fix the car as quickly as they can. And last one. Uh, let's see. Last one. Here we go. It's coming in fast. Um, let me see someone who hasn't Juanita Gonzalez says they are pushing a car because there was a damage done. Oh, there was damage done to the motor. Very, very good. Excellent job guys. Excellent job. I mean, you guys are awesome. Now I do have some bad news guys. The lesson is over. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? An hour already went by, but I love teaching you guys. Now I do have some good news though. Here's the good news, guys. Are you ready to practice and speak with other English speakers? Remember I told you at the very beginning, guys, now we're going to have a live Zoom class. That's right, a Zoom class for all the family members, all of the individuals who are enrolled in my academy. They can come right now, and we're going to have an hour-long Zoom meeting. That's right. As a family, we can see each other and talk to each other. Don't worry if you just wanted to watch the YouTube live class, it's not a problem. But if you're not in the academy, you need to join now. So again, you guys can hit the link. Let me post the link for you guys really quickly. Again, for those of you that would like to join us and you want to become a part of the family and you also want to join us for the live meeting, here's the link. All right, here's the link, but you have to be a member. So after you click the link, it's going to prompt you to join our academy to join the family. All right but we welcome you. We want you to be a part of our family. Oh, and one other thing, guys, I would encourage you to join the Academy now because the price is going to go up next month. Now for the current members, don't worry. If you're currently a member of the Academy, if you're currently a family member, your monthly membership fee will not increase. Don't worry. If you're a family member already, it's not going to increase. But for those that aren't members yet, you need to join now because next month the price is going to increase. All right. So again, if you want to join our family, if you want to come to our Zoom meeting, once again, here's the link for you guys to come. Click it. It'll take you to the information you need because we have some discussion questions that we're going to go over together live in the Zoom meeting. Guys, honestly, I love teaching these classes. And for those that click the link, when you get to the page after you've logged in, you'll see this right here. You need to hit the attend the live family meeting. That's the Zoom link right there. But again, only family members have access to this page. All right. So here we go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed our class today. Again, come join us in the Zoom meeting. It's going to start immediately after I hit stop on this class. I love teaching you guys. I'm so happy to teach you once a month here. Um, I do a live class once a month, but again, if you're not in the Academy, yes, you can enjoy the live class, but you don't get all the benefits. All right. So yes, I do this once a month. Ah, uh, story time. Okay. Nicole Liberato story time. Here we go. It's story time. 
Hey, hey, I said it's story time. Man, now I have to think of a story really quickly. Let me think. I had a story that I was going to tell you all, and it has to be quick because the family is waiting on me. Um, let me think of a really, really quick story. Ooh, wow. I told you all a story about when I was in South Korea. Um, oh, hold on, guys. I didn't prepare a story, but I'm going to try to think of one really quickly that I can tell you. Um, ah, maybe it's about my niece. Guys, a story's not coming to my mind. Um, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Ooh, okay. Quick story, guys. So when I was younger, I loved um, stuffed animals. I had about 15 stuffed animals on my bed. And that night, I would take them off and I'd sleep. But in the morning, I'd take each individual stuffed animal and I'd put them right on the pillow, right? So I had these stuffed animals for years and I wanted to save them. So I would put them in a box, right? Now, when I turned about 11 or 12 years old, I didn't have them on my bed, but I had them in a box. So one day I came home from school and the box was gone and I was frantic. I was like, mommy, where's the box? She said, what box? I said, the box with my, with my teddy bears I've had for years. My dad had accidentally, well, he didn't know I wanted them, had taken the box all the way to the thrift store. They were going to actually sell my, my stuffed animals. So I remember it so clearly, even though it was so many years ago, my mom jumped in the car, took me in the car. We drove to this huge thrift store. And I remember walking in, it was a huge uh, thrift store and warehouse. And they were like, ma'am, we don't know where your box is, but you can try and look. And wouldn't you know, we walked into this huge warehouse and we looked for a few minutes and we prayed and I was able to find the box that had all of my stuffed animals. And I still have that box today. It's been over 25, 28 something years. It's been a long time, almost 30 years. And I still have that box of stuffed animals. So that's just a quick story, but I really, really love those stuffed animals. And who knows, maybe later on when I have kids, I'll let them actually have some of the stuffed animals too. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's class. Again, please join us. I would love to have you guys in our family meeting. Here's the link. I do have to run so that I can start that Zoom meeting for our family and we can start our discussion and we can talk to each other. If you're not able to, it's okay. We'll see you next month. Thanks so much, guys. I'll talk to you next time. But as always, remember to speak English.